Hey, what's up guys? So this is the follow-up video of HyperOS for Redmi Note 8 and I did review this ROM previously. Previous two builds were not that great and this time let's see what's going on. So I have been using this build about two three days now and I did check everything what's working what's not working what's going on with this ROM. So first of all let's check what we are getting with this ROM. So this ROM running on Android 11 and as you know Redmi Note 8 officially runs on Android 11 but you can go up to android 14 the custom roms are available so as you can see here all the specs and this one is from indonesia as you can see indonesian team uh, built this rom and this is a hyper os mint for this device and all the specification of the device and everything here so and all the specs if i go to all the specs as you can see other things and android version android 11 security patch level is from 2022 they didn't update the security patch Rather than that, nothing much going on. So in terms of hyperverse features, why are you going to flash this ROM? Because you want hyperverse features. There is nothing much going on. You are getting notification panel, which is very similar to MIUI 14 and a somewhat hyperverse look. So it's not really like hyperverse. And in terms of other features, you are not getting much actually. It's pretty much similar to MIUI 14, just named hyperverse so nothing much going on in terms of ui and also in terms of customization you are getting all the same thing what you get with miui 14 or miui 12 13 pretty similar and wallpaper and personalization all are there and as you can see the ui it's pretty similar to hyperverse and also you can turn on aod on this device obviously it's a ips screen so it's not going to be that effective or useful and the lock screen and other things home screen and also you can change the theme and you can download theme without logging to your miui account although this rom actually based on chinese hyper OS, but you will not see much uh, chinese language here only in the theme section you will see some chinese language as you can see here the chinese theme and other things but you will get all the english themes too actually if you want you can download you can download font you can do other customization in terms of performance it's not really that great as you can see here it's pretty slowish rom if you used custom rom on your redmi note 8 you will not feel good about this rom actually as i have used much better rom than this so i don't really like this rom but as you can see everything seems to be working fine although it's slow but everything is well optimized and everything runs pretty well in terms of camera we are getting xiaomi camera which is working perfectly fine and i did install gcam so gcam is working perfectly fine as you can see here there is no issue but the gcam i have installed there is no auxiliary camera support so you are getting only the main camera support but you can download different version of gcam gcam will work perfectly fine and if you use gcam to install gcam it will not detect your device so as you can see here if i open gcam right now and going to home as you can see here it can't detect my device so if you want to download gcam for your device you have to search and as you can see readme note 8 and if i search then it will give you search result then you can download in this way you can download gcam for your device and gcam will work perfectly fine rather than that few other things like safety net so safety net is failed so you cannot use any kind of bank application here and also i don't really recommend anyone to use bank application on your custom rom it's not really safe and going to the play store integrity or certification so certification is not there actually so if i go to my play store setting about so as you can see here device is not certified it's not really a big deal but the certification is not there but you can still install all the games and application whatever you like to install here everything will work perfectly fine and in terms of google photos unlimited storage that also not a bible on this rom maybe in future update they will include but in this build i'm not seeing that so as you can see here uh, there is no unlimited backup option so those things are there the issues and rather than that nothing much going on everything seems to be working fine phone call messaging and wi-fi bluetooth all those things working fine and in terms of gaming actually gaming is kind of good actually it's not really like evolution x or other aosp based rom but it in terms of readme note 8 actually it's pretty good i did play cod which i always play on this device it's working flawlessly no issue with that 
and other things like fingerprint it's super fast as you know Xiaomi devices are well optimized for fingerprint and face unlock so those things working perfectly fine no issue with that rather than that there is nothing much going on in terms of feature all the same things going on there is nothing much included if you want hyper OS or this kind of ui you can go with this rom but it is not really recommended to install this rom it's pretty much useless i would say you can go with evolution x or pixel os those are far better rom than this but if you are a MIUI lover or hyper OS lover you can go with this rom the rom link will be in the description below you can install this rom so that's all about hyper OS mean for Redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one